All right, so here is um, how to log in <clears throat> to set up your your codes, your redemption codes for students. And remember, there's two two ways to log in on Gmetrics. There's the teacher version, which is the administrator portal. That's the first thing you should do to create your codes. If you already created codes and you're having issues and it's very confusing, I would just make a brand new code. Nothing will happen. Uh, you just reissue it. Uh, tell your students on wherever you post it at Schoology, wherever. Guys, this is the new code. This is better. This is got only the stuff you guys need. All right. Uh, so that's, that's my recommendation. Don't try to fix what's already done there because it's it's not easy. Okay. All right. So don't don't go in here. Don't do any of this stuff. None of this learn key stuff. Nothing. Access codes. Don't look at everybody. All this stuff. Don't look at that. Right here. Create codes. Brand new one. Only select Adobe Certified Professional Suite Annual Site License. That's it. Nothing else. Don't do anything else. This is for Adobe only. Click right there. All right. Identifier, that is your identifier. I like to use the last three letters of my last name, all caps. And say you're doing this for the third time, put a number, that easy. Number of students, 100, type that in real quick. Do not click individual, leave it on multi-user or if it's not on multi-user, select multi-user, right? One code for many redemptions. This should be defaulted at 365. It's good for a year for us to be doing these trainings on Certiport. That's the date I have there. Do not click on crank, uh, Grant Cloud Access. And then here under tests, test per student, put 100, all right? Uh, I leave that one on, allow students to review missed questions without changing score, that's fine. That's uh, testing mode, you'll see. This is where people are making the mistake. They were clicking all this stuff. They were selecting custom tests. Do not do that. Deselect all. Select only this one. 2018, 2020, 2019, right there. And you can see these are all the ones that are available. All right. Don't click. See how that's separate. Do not click that. All I do is click here. All right. You don't even need to look at them. Only select 2018, 2019, 2020. Again, the question we get is, why aren't we doing the, the most updated ones? The ones that say 2019, 2020, 2021, because they're not ready, all right? The people at Geometrics, the coders, the IT guys, it's not ready. They're just beta formats for right now. Uh, don't worry if students say, why am I taking an old one? It does not matter. It is a professional level certification. It is good for three years, right? Um, Anyone actually taking a certification through Gmetrics or Sort Report, nobody has a 2021 or 2022 certification right now. I think the only way you can do that is if you do it through Adobe itself, and that that is a whole other animal, right? So uh, these certifications are good right now. They're the ones that are being used in, in industry right now. These are the correct ones, all right? Uh, and, and they'll work fine. Uh, and I was telling, students and other teachers well what about the newest versions of adobe illustrator and photoshop if you're doing those i've been using these programs pretty much all my adult life i can tell you there's some changes obviously from year to year but they're not like super big and what's on the actual certification test is not anything that anybody's going to be missing so these are good certifications they're professional level if you have a student that that passes these and and uh, gets these certifications, yeah. they're gonna be good, all right? I'm not gonna click confirm on mine because I don't wanna make one more access code. You're gonna click confirm. It'll show you your new access code. 
I would copy it and paste it or have it ready, copy, right? Select it, highlight it, copy it, go and put it and update it in your Schoology if you already install it in your Schoology and, uh, and do that. Do not click custom test. You do not want that. That's it, that's it right there, all right? Um, so then log out, all right? And basically what you just did there, it's gonna populate uh, the actual um, student version. And remember you have your, and yes, you can click down here, go to student portal. I like to go manually like that. Now, remember you as a teacher also have access to this one. This is where you take the same trainings and do the same results in the trainings as a student does. All right, so this should be the same for student and your version of the training uh, modules and simulation exams. All right, okay. If you don't see these populated yet, you need to go to courses or redeem, all right? It, these two do the same thing. Watch if I hit redeem, it's going to ask me for my code. Don't use my code. <laughs> All right. And if I hit redeem, it's going to populate it with these. Or if I hit courses, it's also going to ask you for the code. All right. And that will populate. And then you're going to see this. Now, some of these showed up from December on mine, right? Um, and if these show up, that's fine, but do not click on these. You don't need them. You do not need them. See how it says 2019, 2020, 2021. Those don't work, right? Don't do that. If you see this G metrics, I, I haven't even clicked on it once. Don't do that. We're right here, right there. 2018, 2019, 2020. Click right there. There they are, right? Uh, those are the ones we have access to. Um, if you click Illustrator, Photoshop, right? There they are. Okay, now this is super important. Do not do practice exams. Anything that's, look at the, the terminology, practice exam, the wording. Practice exam one, practice exam two. Don't do these. I know you're like, that sounds counterproductive, Mr. Novo. Don't do them because these are the ones that get you into that. Oh, you got to download the the, the Gmetrics app and install it for, don't do it. You don't need them. I'm telling you guys, you don't need them. Do all the concept reviews right here, concept review. Anything that says concept review, concept review, concept review, one, two, and three, simulation test. These are the two that actually launch the program, whether in your Photoshop or Illustrator that is on your computer, on your student computer or in your own computer. Simulation, these are the ones that launch the software, right? In testing mode, all right? And training mode, okay? Uh, only do these, simulation test and one and simulation test two. That's it, do not do practice exams again, all right? This is it. And again, a reminder, if you haven't gone through these, if students haven't gone through them, they don't realize that if you do them over and over, the, the questions and the tasks change, all right? And like we had in the meeting, you have some of your top students who they probably only had to do this a couple times and they're ready to take the exam on Certiport. Remember, Certiport is the actual certification exam. That's a whole other uh, website. That's a whole other thing. And I'll get you guys a video on that step-by-step -step as well, all right? But again, do not do anything that says practice exam, all right? You shouldn't actually have to even download the app, the Gmetrics app. And then one last thing, if you do have the Gmetrics app, do not use it to log in to do any trainings. Go to the website, gmetrics.net. Go everything web-based. Do not use the app if you already downloaded it and have access to it. it. It doesn't work well, all right? It's still buggy, all right? So I think that's pretty much it on that. Um, yeah, just make sure you guys do those. Do them with your students. Force them to do it take time in class. At this point, we got to do that. And uh, best of luck with that stuff. And let me know if you guys have any more questions.
Thank you.